Hey guys, Traffles to Doom here. And Razor Fang. And welcome back to 13 Sentinels. Uh, last time we got through some more plot stuff. Ogata got cleared, so that's nice. And Jeff's brain broke just a little bit more. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we've got Hijiyama, and we've got Ayuki, uh, and we got Sekigahara. Uh, I'm continue with Hijiyama. All right. He's fresh on all the right. brain. going to toy with me then I'm not thinking straight myself you definitely are not Oki thinking straight man. that's for sure <laughs> why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him that damn Okino that was too far for a joke anyway what was going on with those talking images if I recall they said something about being reborn? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm trying to remember what this plot event is going to be. So we did looking for loose change. Done a few different things. Oh, hello. You're right on time. Okay now. <laughs> no. They're... Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Uh, let's try the schoolyard. Lots of people there. She might have run into someone. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she <laughs> seems like quite a teacher. Buddy, please. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. <laughs> now that's done. Oh, wait. Yes? But, uh, well, uh, th there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually, they can't move because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, I, th their legs mostly fine. Actually. Oh my god, <laughs> buddy, please! They scrape their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very scraped. Buddy, please. <laughs> Maybe you should come and see for yourself. <laughs> you don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? <laughs> Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? Uh. Hi. I'm about time for a retreat. Fresh apple 
issues. <sighs> That's powerfully sweet. That's a look. Hmm. Is he back at the school building? Let's see. Because we did distract Morimura a bit. Hmm. Yep, okay. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Fried in sauce. Why is this constantly mark being marked as on red? I don't trust much, but if there's one exception, what's that not speaking up? Then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. Ah, here we are. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. <sighs> what do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms, those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. Not invincible. Mm-hmm. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleships? I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then it sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. And I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? Have you never seen a mecha anime, Mira? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. I know Perfect Gundam probably she's existed she's around this time. You and I were apparently or the only viable Wait, no, choices. This would be the 40s, so maybe not. Huh? How old is Gundam again? Kiriko san. Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know, I'm just delivering documents on the professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, K 
Kitaro should have been made the only Sentinel <laughs> pilot. Oh yeah, he uh, they get thrown the into each other. Mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. He also got yeeted into the future. By the Sentinel, no less. Oh, hey, there we are. It can't be. It is. If it isn't Keitaro in the flesh. Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. <laughs> Takatoshi-san? <laughs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's that time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yaki soba pond. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yaki soba pond. <laughs> It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any hamburger? <laughs> what is this hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. <laughs> you overestimate your border, my friend. God damn it. <laughs> I was waiting for that scene for so long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and the Sarah's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The <laughs> monsters destroyed everything. What do you mean? Explain yourself. And now he learns. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place. That was a wrong thumbstick for a sec. I think it'd be better to show you instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s. So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going.
everywhere here. It's the same thing. Tomalsan's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. who destroyed the world. That's them, then? The ones you've been talking about? Yeah, they're all Daimos. Destroyers of worlds. Did these monsters... eat everyone? They don't eat. The people have all been captured, thanks to a buried UFO. Well... A saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother, and to Mausan. These things took them away? Wait. If the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... these are... parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. He used to borrow Keitaro's science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> this, is, this is a nightmare. I want to wake up. <laughs> yeah, same. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't. So, out of curiosity, any theories right now? I mean, we learned that they're parallel, like, they're different colonies. And all this may be in the 2200s, for all we know. Yeah, so mirrors re unlocked, so there's that. But let's see, there's him. Hijawa sells stuff going on, too. That's fun. Alright. We're probably gonna do. Are we gonna stop here or are we gonna do one more? Oh, that, that was like the first section uh, of the uh, part, I thought. Okay, then we'll do Mira. We'll finish him oh, off. Sure. Oh, shit. Well, never mind. We'll do this, then we'll do Mira. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we can do like uh, another two sections, probably. Yeah. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there before my homeland lost everything, if you would have gotten fucking sentence, bodied. Maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I. He's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible?
Oh boy. Now, where is Okino? Yeah, I know we're getting close to the end of Hijiyama, at least. If the, you know, if the percentage wasn't already kind of giving that away. Yeah. Schoolyard? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hold it right there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. <laughs> That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I want to you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. <laughs> I've never seen you around. Can't mind. Not feeling great? Is that obvious? What happened? I looked at the wrong textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. Oof. That mm -hmm. happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Unfortunate. <laughs> I don't have any money on me. <sighs> Back to the break area, maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Understanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. Rip. <laughs> uh, let's check the walkway for the cat. No, I think I know where I need to go. Yeah, there's only like one other location anyway. Do the schoolyard. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> are you doing? Paying a cat. I've never seen you around. Hmm. Uh, what's got you all nervous? Oh, I boy. I don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Hold it right there. I'm just a big fan, you know. Just Back to front. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, now gods. Pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I have something <laughs> I have to do. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's what would get Goto off your back. Mm -hmm. I have your finest. 
Damage. Sorry for making, but it's open. Two. My God, man. Back to the schoolyard, I guess, for now. See if anything's changed there now that we've uh, get going? eaten. Yeah. Break area? Again, just checking everywhere just to be safe. I forget where the uh, <gasps> event is. Up oh, there we are. Ah. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? Yeah, I know what this leads to now. I oh boy! Right now, after sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around waiting for him. I'll have to kill time for a while. Damn, Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect anything less? No. <laughs> mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Stress eating. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Mm. I feel like my stomach would explode Delicious. from all that yakisoba. Mm -hmm. Wash it all down. What was Okino planning with that girl? I don't know how well that go doing those back to back would work, but eh. It feels like he's hiding something. Oh, wow, we're just drinking all of it. Something's going on with him. I can tell. <laughs> Where'd you even have that one? We were out of those. Oh no. What time is it? I need to hurry over to Passed out like a from a food coma. And cramp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. We'll wait here and confront them when they return. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but <laughs> I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. <laughs> Try it. See what happens. 
Ogatakun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll yeah, remember this thing? Mm -hmm. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here, anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari san. But according to her, Kisaragi san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? <laughs> just the two of them? <laughs> Must be that girl from this afternoon. <laughs> so that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? <laughs> uh, oh, you don't know either? <laughs> Great. <laughs> we are the two meatheads of the group. And then Juro found the robot, and I guess they just dealt with that later on. Mm -hmm. And now stealth mode. Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. Ugh. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. <laughs> but I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. <laughs> How could you tell? I, I assume like there's a certain like buzz in the air or something. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? <laughs> ah, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. <laughs> are you a widow? <laughs> Jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. Who get jealous over is you? Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just... I was just... <laughs> worried about you. That's all. <clears throat> you went to that I want to know place. how to save right. everyone. Well, well the Android's all broken anyway. Then tell me. I mean, that... Please. Something had happened to you. <laughs> Moron. <laughs> I understand. I'm doing my best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home. Please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. What? That's where it all starts. <laughs> yep, back here. Well, not really back here for uh, Hijiyama, but you know. Mm -hmm. I told you about this before. 
We're inside the buried UFO. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. The saucer? Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. 40-year gaps going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp, especially for you. Hey, now. <laughs> it's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos' Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but that's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos. And access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal control might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. Hmm. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, 
They're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. But yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. <laughs> something a bit more fundamental. Ooh boy. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of shit going down there. And yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Well, we can do Mira. Yep. And very likely finish him off. Yep, and this will be uh, whether it finishes him off, well, off or not. This will be the final segment of the part. Mm -hmm. Well, an S part, but that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Clear skies. So when we first got did he jump his prologue? Did you expect him to be this connected to everything? No. <laughs> everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. She's still a family. Hmm. That's a fun name for the time slot. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, hi. Takatoshi-san. You actually showed up? That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Oops. Yeah. The sentinel's inside that building. Right. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon, all this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san. If anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! <laughs> Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. <laughs> and if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. <sighs> and don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. Let's go. We're taking back our sentinel. That's what I want to hear. Ah, there it is. Just how I remember it. Freeze! Another one? Using low power shots, but still, it feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there <laughs> fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. Jay. A different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now.
<laughs> and with that, that is Miura done. Mm -hmm. And with that, that's also going to be the end of the part. <laughs> yeah. So with all that said, this has been the Triforce of Doom. And Racer Fang. Peace out. <laughs>